Hello everyone and welcome to Skyweaver Studio. Brand new. It just opened yesterday. So guys, yesterday we started the beginner's guide. We played starter Ada deck in constructed mode. Today we're still sticking to Ada, okay? I still rocking the costume. I still have my sword right here, ready to slay some opponents, all right? But before we do that, I still want to show off my studio because I'm really proud of it. So here, this, uh, this time on this uh, screen, we have the trailer for Clash of Inventors. And here, this time, I picked a new art, Ada art. Fitting, right? Fitting. It's really cool, really cool. So, guys, if you don't know me, my name is Puza, simple community member. Nice to meet you all. So. Yeah, I think we can proceed to the games, but be actually before that, let me just say that tomorrow we are taking a break from beginner stuff and we are playing Conquest, the most competitive mode of all in the game. So something for you advanced people. But now, let's not delay the gameplay any longer. Let's play some games. Let's go to my gaming scene. All right, so yesterday, we managed to uh, reach a recruit rank from Wanderer to Recruit and we are now one rank before the Apprentice. But in Discovery, the same journey ahead of us from Wanderer to Recruit. Let's see if we can actually reach the Recruit on this stream. Let's see. Let's play. Hopefully, we can find some opponents on the lowest rank because uh, Discovery mode is a bit less played than Constructed. So hopefully the queues will be will be quicker. Let me greet some of you on the live stream here on Twitch. Welcome Wrath. Welcome Holo, Rizam as always. Welcome guys. Welcome people. Nice to have you here. Alright, so look at this quick queue. So guys, let's proceed to the arena, shall we? Okay. With my standard walk like yesterday. Alright. Casually jumping on the ledge, not afraid to fall. All right, but let's run. Let's do it, guys. Let's deflict some fear into my opponent's head. Let's go back to the arena. Okay, guys, the game is ready. Let's play some games. All right, Ada versus City. So this time, discovery mode, every game, different deck. It's gonna be different than yesterday. Yesterday every game was every game was with the same deck. So simple. But this time we have to pay attention a lot more. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, four units free spells. We're playing against CD, alright, so we are going second. We don't have two cost unit though. Actually somehow Somewhat we do because we can play call to action and play flashbang as our only one cost unit So that's cool. We can we, we might play it without spending any uh, Mana crystals at first. All right, let me Stop my background music because the in-game music is now on All right, what else do we want ifrit ifrit will discard non-fire cards so I will draw a lot of cards from out of deck and lose some damage so I don't want this card but this card has very good stats, but still, Brawl, let's take Brawl, I mean, maybe those two, or maybe actually drawing, I don't have more drawing cards, so what I'm getting here, Dracomantium and Goblet of Armies, alright, I can go for, for those. Alright, we're playing against City, Mr. Atec Gaming, alright, alright, so he decided to coin twice. The mana crystal and play 2-2 two, two units. Unfortunately, we don't have any. I mean, I have a card with banner, but we are outside of the mana range. Unfortunately, I would love to kill this unit with banner already before he plays the one cost unit proking the, the effect. So let's go with our plan. Call to action. Flashbang on the board. Now he's gonna probably buff himself a little bit with the with the inspire inspire effect. So let's let's bump him with my hero. Let's fight for that bond contr board control. 
Welcome, get this on in the chat. I'm rocking the Ada costume, having my my sword right here for slaying my enemies. Welcome, get this on in the Twitch chat. All right. So thanks that I hit my opponent uh, the last turn. I can kill him now with my hero, which is very very useful, very very good. So let me do that. And to which guy do I want to play? I might silence next turn the Violet, so my opponent don't gain the Mana Crystal from the death effect. But we'll see. Let's just play this card. Hmm. But when I do, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to Maligan, 5 cost and higher, so I'm going to Maligan Garuda. And actually I like this card a lot, especially in Discovery. So let me play Iron, Iron Shell and maybe play my brawl later. All right, I'm good here. Thank you, Gedison, in Twitch chat. Thank you so much. So this video will also be posted on YouTube. Welcome also, real Pukey Duke. Why are you still in costume? I mean, that was the Halloween was actually the coincidence. I was just starting my my new journey then. It was no. It, that wasn't planned for ju just for uh, just for the Halloween. It's just coincident coincidence that it happened then. Whoa, real Pookie Duke! Thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome. I didn't see you here for a long time, actually. All right. Garuda on board. Very dangerous unit because of the glory effect. Give all units plus one, plus one. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. What's the best play here? I'm thinking about using Earth Rune and Buckler Up together. But I cannot play first Ervron on my Garuda because it will override the spell. So maybe I'm going to do that on this guy. So I can gain plus two plus two from Anima. That seems useful. That seems useful. This guy will still be hiding in the shadows of stealth. And this guy will gain guard and armor. Alright. Let me do just that okay okay nice board control i mean somewhat you still have one unit so this is the biggest threat for him the garuda the glory effect can spiral up but he he managed to kill it with dead weight all right but super powerful unit on the board still all right let me see i I drew Blood of Ixath. Someone draw your lowest cost unit, gain its stats. So I'm going to get draw this of this, so plus two, plus two, or plus two, plus three, which is not that powerful. Mm. But do I want to play any of those cards? That's the question. I actually might. I actually might play. Hmm. But then I have to play Goblet of Armies. I have 50% to draw Sonic Jammer. So I could play this, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. So let's just play Blood of Ixath and maybe next turn those two. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Blood of Ixath on the board. So now A Gaming has eight cards, so he might play Orchid to buff and cheapen his uh, make make cheaper the cards in his in his the spells in his hand as you can see orchid give units in your hand plus one plus one and spells minus one cost gain one mana next turn as Gideon says in twitch chat blood blood of x are so bad in discovery yeah but actually it's fourth uh, fourth uh, attack f four attack five uh, health uh, unit in this case, with barrier, it was with barrier, and draw me a unit, so it's not terrible, you know, it's not terrible. All right, now I can pay six mana to un, uh, to, to get he hex off, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that. 
I'm not sure if I want to do that. There's a lot more... The discovery mode is is a lot more complicated, so you have to pay a lot more attention than in Constructed. So let's see what I can do. What I can do. I'm definitely not paying 6 mana for that. I could play... Hmm. What should I do? What should I do? This and this, perhaps? No, I'd rather play a unit. Um. Alright. Let me play one unit. And... Crystal Cash ho in hopes for Dracomantium for 50% 50, 50 We do get it Alright Do I want to clear this? Nah, he already paid, uh, played the attachment So let's go for the kill Let's go for the kill Alright, we have Dangerous Weighted Die and Dangerous Dracomantium So the game might, might be won, as Gedison says But we have to get through the Opal Golem with a shield. Which, which won't be that easy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't have lethal, I'm pretty sure. So I guess I'm just gonna play Dracomantium. I could also just... Play this... Because I'm afraid he might have some buffing stuff. Uh, buffing the full board. Mm. But you know what? Nah, I'm going... I'm going strong with this. Let's see what my opponents... What my opponent figure, figures out. <clears throat> mm. As you can see... If you compare yesterday's games to today's, it's much more complex. You have a lot, of, a lot to think about, um, a lot of complexity, a lot of choices. Especially with my opponent. My opponent had nine cards, so possible combinations of plays are all over the place. I mean, I don't even want to count how many possible plays that there is, but. I'm sure the timer is not long enough to figure out all of them and calculate which one is the best. Alright. So. I think it's lethal, right? Give plus one, plus one armor and guard to a random ally unit six times. So six times going to uh, this brawl will have ten attack plus one attack from my hero and it should be lethal. Alright, good game to my opponent. GG. Guys, we did it! First game, first win. Let's go! So, we are now 9 games. 9 games left. To the recruit rank, and we unlocked a strength card. Alright, Flame Sword. Give target unit plus 2 power, lifesteal, and attach fury. Alright, this is kind of. This is actually a useful card. Useful card. All right, so shall we visit our favorite mountain already for the first first tip of the day? Do you guys rem remember from yesterday? Maybe you weren't watch it. So let me just remind you. So last week I uh, I traveled through vast and beautiful uh, sky river land, and I discovered this mountain where I can where I where I found some knowledgeable information. So I want to share this stuff with you. Let me put up some background music for this. And let's go there. Yes, get this on mountain in chat. Yes, the edge of the sky. Let me take you there. I guess I'm going to climb this mountain every day now, huh? At least it's good cardio and the view is quite nice, right? So welcome to the edge of the sky, where you try to become a better Skyweaver player. Today, Discovery Mode Edition. Tip 1. Play with open deck. So in Constructed, it's not that important as you play with deck that you know. I at least hope you do. But in Discovery, not the case. Every game, different deck. 
So if you if your device allows you to play with open deck at all times, you will know what to draw, what to not draw, what to hope for if you're absolutely lost, but that one card can save you. That's it. Simple trick that will make your life easier. Let's play some games. All right. So that was the first tip of the day from the edge of the sky. So I guess we already did we already did the the trick. We we played the the game with the deck open, I believe, in the last game. But remember this. This is very useful actually, especially in discovery. And get these on thank you for kind words in the Twitch chat. Thank you, sir. All right. So the queue was actually quite fast for the previous game. Let's hope it's going to be also fast now. We have some backup plans what to do if the queue is too long. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. Let me take a sip of my water. So this time I cannot browse from my deck because I as I said the discovery mode is the mode when where, where every game your deck is randomized. Hmm. Yeah, definitely get this on. I should train to do some good impressions, the voice impressions. But actually, I don't think we we heard uh, any Ada voice before. So I would have to make it up somehow. Absolutely, as Gadison says in in chat, we need hero voice lines. Absolutely, that would be awesome. All right, and Q uh, Q popped up already. Let's go. I'm taking a break from running on my on my arena right now. Okay, I'm tired from climbing the mountain. So let's just play. Okay, let's disable the background music on my computer. In-game client music is now on. We're playing against Alleluia. Okay, interesting nickname. It's Agility. Okay, so let's see six units this time to choose from. Actually, Crystal, Crystal Ceratops is very bad in Discovery because look at this. Has minus two cost for each other seven cost and higher card in your hand. I have zero such cards, so I would have this card for eight mana, and stats are only five five, so not very useful in Discovery. Actually, Cloud Guard is quite quite good. I'm not sure against Samia, but at the beginning of the game, it's it should be good. Be the, the best counter against this unit is a Wither unit. So, but so, so let's hope he don't have it. And let's play Pado maybe and Polar Bear. All right. Let's take only units. Let's fight for the board control. Ooh, no spells for me to destroy Nocturna. Look at this sunrise effect. I can attack the enemy hero. Hmm. All right. Well, what can I do? Just play Grunk, attack the hero, and end turn. So next turn, whatever happens, if he does, I maybe actually not whatever happens. If he doesn't play any withered unit, I'm playing. I'm coining my Cloud Guard because the sooner you play the Cloud Guard, the better because less options my opponent has to play any withered units or, or or spells or something like that. So definitely, this card should be played as fast as possible. Okay, he used a coin. Let's see what. Okay, but this is not a. Maybe he doesn't have anything else useful. But I'm just. I I can just destroy this unit. So the fury, uh, enchant is lost. But maybe he didn't have anything anything useful because unlike constructed, the opening selection when you choose four cards might be very bad. You know, as it's randomized. So you cannot judge that that harsh your opponent's play. In this case, all right. Let me do what I intended to do. Cloud guard on the board, and let's hope cloud guard is good. So my opponent only three mana now, not that many. Hopefully he doesn't have any yellow jacks. Okay, treasure chest for now. So I will still have my board control. I guess now it's going to be time for Pudo because of his ability. This unit takes no damage, 
Prominent spells and heroes with wither. So let's do that. So even he, if he plays a, yuder, a wither unit and it stays on board, I can kill it with a loss of loss of health from my Pudo. Also, it's a nice lifesteal unit to gain health against very aggressive Samya hero. Let's see, what do I have in my my deck? Nurtured Bond. I want to avoid this card very much as it's strictly a constructed card. Okay, so he managed to, key, to clear my board. Very impressive. But I'm still going to press. Still going to press. I'm not slowing down. Let's go. 18 health to go. Look at this polar bear. Death, attach Seek to your hero. Seek, draw your highest cost spell, give it minus two cost. So let's see what I can get from Seek. I can, the highest cost spell is Band Together. Give all the units plus three, plus three and guard. All right, that's not bad. Especially when you control the board. That's not bad. So I might actually play this. I will get this for five. So I will have Rubble Devil and my Unicron on the board, and this for five, and if they survive, I can buff them. Hmm. But... But this might be better though. Six, six stats. Hmm. But my Unicron has low attack, and also this guy has five, five, uh, five uh, health. So I'm, I actually want to try this play. It might be worth it. it. Might be actually worth it. Let me try this. That's a perk of controlling the board. You can use powerful spells to buff your units. I won't be able to play sidekick and band together. You might think that I will because I will have seven max mana, but look at this ability or rather <laughs> I don't even say if I, I... I don't even know if I could call it ability because you lose one mana next turn. The ability is for you to lose mana. Okay. So I will have six mana next turn. Oh, he has dash from Wildland bike, Biker. So he can clear y one unit, which is not good. Now band together doesn't look that good. Welcome John Cake in the giveaway. <laughs> Not giveaway, what am I saying? Because John Cake said, how is the giveaway going? <laughs> My brain went to that word. Welcome in the Twitch chat, John Cake. Uh, the giveaway will be after the, the YouTube video is over. So after we wrap up the video, the stream, then we're going to do the giveaway as, as usual. And by usual, I mean like we did yesterday. All right, so let me clear this guy first because watch out for this unit. After the enemy plays a unit, summon Yellowjack. So if I play anything on the board, it will summon the Yellowjack that will attack uh, at the same time my, my unit. So it's very dangerous card, very dangerous. And now I can play some stuff. Now I can play some units. Let's go for the beast. Okay. I guess Alleluia from Slovakia, I believe. I believe this is the flag of Slovakia. Ooh, powerful spell, Maelstrom. Do six damage to ally units. If any would die, return them to deck instead. I cannot get my band together fired. And unfortunately, we draw the card that we didn't want to draw, Nurtured Bond. Draw a unit of target ally units element. Give both units plus one, plus one for each card in your hand of their element. This is strictly a constructed card because in Discovery you have elements all over the place, so very different element uh, units. And in Constructed you can build a deck with, for example, one or two elements, so this is very, very good then, but in, in Discovery, not that much. All right. So let me play Sidekick, Buster Squire and uh, Shield on my Buster Squire. Okay, 13 health to go. But Alleluia defends pretty well, pretty well. Cannot get that band together to 
to buff my units. He keeps clearing and he's clearing again. Wow. Sammy is very good in discovery, as you can see. And I have no units to play. And <laughs> look, <laughs> finally I got that unit, that 8 cost, eight cost that we talk about on the opening selection. I mean, that's terrible to pay 8 mana uh, for 5-5 five, five unit, but I mean, I don't have any other unit to play, so let's do this. Let's just strike down. <laughs> we use our mana efficiently, I suppose. But, but look at that. Actually, I have the same... Uh, the same element uh, cards, but again, again with the dash effect because of the death effect of Wildland Biker. Give units in your hands dash, and now those two cards without anything on my on my side of the board, both cards are absolutely useless. So I need a some sort of a miracle card. Let's see what we can draw. Maybe Ifrit. We get. The that though, but he can, he can just use deactivate on my unit. So I don't even want to play band together with this because he will just probably play deactivate. Very very bad situation. Maybe I'm just gonna play natural bond just to draw another another unit. Let's go for this. Okay. Okay. So now we have. Hmm. So now maybe I will play this. Let me think about this. If I play another unit, I one unit might survive. Might survive. So let's try it. And and then I can play my band together. So he might play, for example, deactivate on this guy and kill this and go up for my face because this has stealth. And then I'll be able to at least give it plus three, but he will still have 8 mana to play something else. So I might actually lose the first game on stream for the beginner's guide. Not nice, not nice. I was hoping to get a only wins on this beginner's guide journey. Obviously on the master, grand weaver and prophet and ranks like that this is pretty, pretty much impossible. But here on the wanderer level, hallelujah. He's playing very well, very well, very well. Oh no, and he was able to kill the other unit as well. And now I am in a grave danger. I Wow, that's risky for him. I mean, he has 6 health. Hmm. He took a risk, okay. I'm not sure why. But... 5 health to go. So that was the first mistake I think he made. In the entire game. He's, he was playing very well until now. Taking that 2, two damage was not necessary. Okay, now he cannot, I mean, he can hit with his face into my unit, but then he, he just kills himself. Okay. Actually, the Fury Enchant might be bad for him because he might not have any one cost and he will get damaged every time he draws a one cost unit. So this might actually be not good for him. Ooh, but he does have one cost, you know, one cost card. That's unfortunate. Can I do some? Can I do something? To kill this guy. Okay, another possibility for one damage maybe because he might not have a um, air card. Okay, I'm playing what I can here. So let's. Hmm. Should I go after Yellow Jack or should I go after the tree? That's a tough choice. That's a tough choice. Okay, let's not lose uh, HP like that. Actually, hmm. so on board he has how, mu how much attack? Two, four, five, seven. Okay. 
but this might draw him another yellow jack. I'm not sure how many uh, the swarm singer brought to his deck. So I'm not sure what's the play is here. What what what, what should I do here? I'm not sure. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. All right. He did draw out of deck one cost unit. So four more health to go. John Cake agreed to attack the tree. All right. Four more health to go. Four more damage. Can we do it? This is so so close. This is so close. Actually, if I can draw Okay, but I don't think he have lethal on board, but this is scary guard. If I can draw a Chromosaur, I I can win the game because of the chomp attached to, to it, and I can do lethal, even though the guard the unit is on board. Okay, so he's not going after my uh, my hero, he's going after my unit. Now he changed his mind. I guess he's calculated that he, when I attack with the beast against the, the chain lasher, this unit is going to die. I guess this is the logic of my opponent. Oof, unfortunately this is not the card that I wanted. And I don't have a, a guard. Let's see how, if I kill this, how much damage my opponent have on board. 3, 4, 6, 8, Nine. So one of lethal. One of lethal. <gasps> only three more. Can we somehow do it? But only one card save us from nine of them. One, uh, one out of nine. And he went for the fury. Oh no, but he gained one damage. Because of the out of, out of deck damage, because of the ability. After your hero loses health during your turn, gain one power. And that's it. And that's it. My opponent wins. Congrats to Alleluia from Slovakia. Well done. First player to beat me in the game. Very nice. Very nice. As you can see... Ooh, and we get... Chromosaurus base card that we can get into our constructed deck. So as you can see, Ada struggles with the cards. I ran out of cards and that was the issue. Let me put some background music. Welcome uh, to Twitch chat to Slomenze from Bolivia. That was a player from Bolivia. I really, I really think that was a Slovakia. Uh, Slovakia flag. Welcome in the chat, Galius. Thank you for the for the follow. And we already found an opponent. Very nice. Quick, quick cues in discovery, actually. Mr. Space seven five three in the chat. I'm sorry. This I'm not going to stream on uh, to sing the songs right now. I'm recording the YouTube video for for later. Galius asks. Is Ada good for climbing discovery? Um, is it good at the lowest levels? Maybe good, but not at the higher level. But I lost just in the Wanderer level, so as you can see, everything can happen. All right, this time against Iris. Let me see. So again, not bad opening selection. Not bad. So let's play. Sidekick for sure. Do I want Demon Pact? But I don't have good target to kill my own unit. So let's go for Sonic Jammer. Root Hog. And do I want something else? Maybe Ground Pound on Root Hog. To proc the Anima. But let's just play Ether Mask to draw more cards. As, as you saw that in the previous game, I basically lost because I ran out of the cards. So drawing drawing card is is useful. All right, let's use the mana crystal to play sidekick, and that's it. 
Gelius asks uh, in Twitch chat, so what in all around good hero to climb with? I would say the best uh, hero in Discovery right now is probably something like Wisdom and Axel or maybe Buran also. But it's, all, it's, it's also very hard to play with those prisms. So you have to be a very good player to, to maximize the value of those prisms. Okay. Let's play Sonic Jammer. So what he played? He played Super Sonic. He drew Yellow Jack from his, from his hand and kill my unit. All right. So to not play an empty turn, let's play Sonic Jammer. With cool summon effect, until your next turn, all enemy spells and enchants have plus two costs. All right. Gelush asks, so the Wisdom single or Buran? Uh, I would say that my three favorite prisms right now in Discovery are uh, Lotus, so single, wi so, so Wisdom only, Buran, so only Heart, or Axel, the combination of uh, Heart and Wisdom. All right, my, uh, my Sonic Jammer survived, but I can only play Arcan Ray, but I don't think it's, it's very useful. So terrible mana management. I don't have anything to play right now. So we just basically wasted free mana, which is very bad. At least I still have uh, board control, but I'm not very happy about the situation. No problem, Galush, no problem. My pleasure. This time we were playing against a player from Brazil, Texas, 92. Okay, he decided to play Salvage for 4 mana. So now I guess we are going to play Rodent Problem and draw a 1 cost card out of deck. So I really hope it's not going to be Axolotl, because Axolotl is 0-1 unit that gets health from the uh, picked unit, but without any unit pit, picked, it's gonna remain on zero one. It's Clover. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Space753 says in Twitch chat, I do not speak English. I'm very sorry, this is English stream. But we have a lot of people that stream in other languages also, so I recommend checking them out. All right, what, let's see what Texas 92 will do now. Board control feels good. Can play you know, a powerful armor unit that will draw me a metal card, which is Dracomantium, okay. He went for Nomad. Ooh, and Snare, so he 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 put uh, he put roots on my unit and get and and get it minus three power. But because he overwritten my anima, I got first plus two plus two and then minus three power. So in fact, he attached roots and uh, remove one power and and get me two health with this play. All right, I want to remove this enchant, this fury, so he cannot. Uh, get plus one plus one and draw one cost. So let me play root hog. So now Now I'm returning the favor. Also my opponent's unit is now rooted If you guys didn't see yesterday or before I'm also rocking the the Ada sword Do I look similar guys? Do I look similar uh, as the as Ada as my hero? What do you guys say? Let me get the posture right. I mean, I look good, right, Aseida? So proud. So proud to defend the Skyweaver land, Aseida. Okay, he's, he has a lot of cards and decides to draw even more. I'm not sure if it's wise, but I also don't know what his cards are. So he basically used 6 mana to draw cards. I would not recommend this. Gellius says, yes, quite nice cosplay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm glad you, you like it. Alright, we have 6 mana. So my opponent played slowly. I do not recommend this. 
So if he doesn't have like a big AoE spell to remove all of the units from the board, I don't recommend this kind of play. You always want... I, I recommend to always fight for board control and he just basically did nothing for 6 mana, so... Okay, so let's unroot myself. Let's play Aqua Sword. So Aqua Sword has the ability to uh, to attach to my hero if I have no mana when play when playing. So if I play this, I will have no mana. So that's nice. So let's buff this guy. And you know what? I w I'm not going to help him unroot himself. So I'm just going face. I'm just going face, and. Uh, He's now in danger that I have a lethal on the board if he does nothing. Now what? Mr. or Mrs. Texas 92. So you drew a lot of you draw a lot of cards. You now have 9 mana even though you have 7 max because you played Lotus Reflection also while having no mana after this. So you have 9 mana. Show me what you draw from all of this play. Oh! Oh, look at this Phoenix, uh, Sky Phoenix ability. After death, does your other top 8 dead cards of different elements to summon this unit. So let's see if he, if he has all of this. But no, he lacks, one, he lacks fire card and mind card. So it will not go, go back when it dies. So that's, that's good for me. That's good news for me, definitely. Okay, and he said, decide, okay, I'm not sure about this one. So this guy is, uh, my opponent this time is definitely a lot weaker than my opponent before uh, that played Samia. Hmm, do I have lethal on board? Let me see. Do I have lethal on board or not? Let me calculate. I don't see it. I think I lack I, I lack one mana to have lethal on board. Hmm. Right? Or am I wrong? I think I don't have lethal because I cannot hit this guy with my face because it has life steal damage. So let's just play this. Kill this guy with my root hog. And go after him. Okay. Two health left, two damage left to win the game. Okay, he decided to play Great Gasto for 8 mana, but that's not enough. And he decided to suicide himself in style on my Clover. Alright. Good game, Mrs. Mr. Texas or Mrs. Texas 92. And we progress. We are now 8 points away. From reaching Wreck Drunk, and we get a card. Breacher for 6 mana. Sunset effect. If you have no mana, gain guard. What, what stats? Look at this. 4 attack and 9 health. That's a lot. That's a lot. Alright. Is it time to get back to the mountain? No. Let's play one more. One more game. And then let's take another tip from the edge of the sky. But this time we're running into my uh, into the arena. So you can see in the background right now here, we have a nice arena. So I'm going to run into the arena, if you guys didn't see it. It looks... You'll see. But first I need to find my opponent to, to go to the arena, right? Alright, who's next? Who's next? Wow! I mean, the... the Qs are even maybe faster in Discovery than in, in Constructed, at the lowest level. That's very surprising. I thought it's going to be uh, opposite. Okay, guys, we found an opponent, so let's run to the arena. Look at this guy. Look at me casually jumping on the ledge. I'm not afraid. Okay. But it's time to accelerate. Let's go. Look at this technique. The legs and arms working together. Let's go to battle. Wait. It was a false start. My opponent didn't accept. 
No, and now I'm in the arena alone. And I... What's the running? Why, why the running if there's no opponent? Shame. Shame on my opponent! Why didn't you accept the match? Now what? Now I look like a fool running into the arena like this. Okay, please. Another opponent, accept the, accept the match. So I don't look like a fool. Anybody? Hello? Yes, let's go. So this time we were playing against... Against Agility. I was scared because I saw Agility and... Well, I lost one game against Agility already, but it's not the same guy that we lost to. It's Texas. Texas 92 that we won just now. But the opening selection is much worse this time. I have only one unit that actually the best play unit is when I have already a unit on the board because of the play effect. So I think I need to take some more defensive cards this time because I will not have the board control. So let's see. I'm, I'm not playing anything turn one for sure. I cannot play any unit. So let's see. I guess we're doing defense now. So let's play Earth Spike, Foul Stench, and uh, maybe those two for later. Okay, let's see. Rizam asks in Twitch chat, Puza, when you stream Conquest, I want to see Lucky Deck. I'm going to stream Conquest tomorrow. Tomorrow, same time, 3 p.m. since European time. So if you want to see me in action, with meta decks, with the best ge decks in game right now. Join tomorrow. All right, we're not playing anything now. Nothing is useful. So discovery is much harder than constructed, much more complex. Y your game plan is not the same every game. It's different every game. You have to figure out what's the best plan, how to proceed. So let's see. Let's see what Texas 92 will do. So for now we'll so we are somewhat safe. We have defensive cards, but I'd rather I always feel the most safe if I have board control. Then I feel the safest. Okay, but he decided to to not play anything. Hmm. So I have two options. I can play Engine Blade and end the turn after attacking, or I can also coin twice Aka Sword in the hopes that this, will get, this, this guy will survive and I can play Tzad next turn onto him and give him shield. Because... Um, hmm, I'm not sure. Actually, I can, actually, I can play Tzad right now also and play the Aka Sword. To, yeah, I think this is better maybe? Because maybe one unit will survive. I'm searching in my head for AoE cards on, on 3 mana or 4. Not that many for Samia. Alright, let's... Hmm. Alright, let's go for this plan. Let's go for this plan. Let's hope he cannot kill both units. If one unit survives, it's enough because of the because of the Aka sword. Okay. It does not do all that much for now. But he can have the spell that does plus one minus one to everything on the board. That will clear the clear clear my units. I believe the card name is Rave, the two cost card from the dark element. Oh, please no. Please no, he played Mana Crystal, I'm scared. Is he going to actually play it? It's from that... Pr okay, it's Lightning Vial, alright. So we are safe. Hmm. Hmm. But if I... Wait, actually my guy will survive if I... Because it's plus two health, so I can kill this guy. 
So yeah, let's let's do that. Let's clear the board. And let's hope he cannot remove my tat. Kinda strange name. Tat. I guess does it refer to his tattoos? Like tat in short. I'm not sure. Ooh, and he have a very strong card in discovery. Cyber Sniper. When attacking, this unit takes no damage and ignores stealth and guard. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm using Earth Spike on him. And next turn I'm probably playing Heavy Cavalry. Wait. I played too fast. I could play Tune Up. Okay, that was terrible mana management. Okay, guys. You didn't see this play, okay? I'm gonna do some weird stuff with ha with my hands. You're going to focus on my weird movements of my hands and you will forget about the last play, okay? D it did not happen. Okay? It did not. Okay, great. So I'm gonna block the mana here with my mouse so you cannot see that we didn't spend two mana, all right? And it's cool. All right? I'm changing my plans. I'm not playing Heavy Cavalry. We have a good AoE card. Foul Stench. Do two damage to units without Wither. Draw a card with Wither. Very a good card in this situation. And I can even play a unit. Very nice draw. Very nice draw. We are fighting for that board control. Alright. Now what, Mr. Texas92? Okay, so he can kill my unit also, unfortunately. So I guess now we're going to play Heavy Cavalry and get Dracomantium, as this is the only metal unit in our deck. Summon, draw a metal unit, give it plus one, plus one. All right. For the future, on the ninth turn. Okay, so he decided to not play Yellow Jack, but Drone Search. All right, not with the full power because he's he has more health than sixteen. That's why it only dealt two damage, not four. Ooh, and he decided to play Yellow Jack like this. Okay. So let's clear, clear some board, shall we? Let's get rid of this guy and this. Okay. I'm not sure what will happen. I'm not super happy with my hand. For another, for another two turns, I will not be able to play my Dracomantium. Okay. For some reason he suicided his 0-1 Hana. I guess he wants space on the board. Oh, he does! For the flock! Luckily, we have a close wipe and we can clear this, but... I will not be able to develop any unit on the board. Maybe I will draw something, hopefully? No, I will not. So I guess I can play tune up now. And it will draw me two cards, because I have a 7 cost or higher card. All right. All right. Definitely playing this. Okay. And let's just attack. Okay, so we don't have board control. He's fighting back quite well. As you can see, Samia is quite powerful in Discovery. He's, navigat he's navigating his deck very well. I wish I can have my close wipe again. But I can't. All right. Now what? Hmm. Eight mana to spend. A lot of possible plays. I could buff up a one cost, like a lot. It will have anima, so I can play this. I can play again everyone on this, and so I will I will overwrite anima with anima and then uh, fury on anima. So it can be big. So let me see. But please no axolotl. I don't have a one cost unit. So please, no axolotl. No! 
<laughs> the worst card that I could draw because it's zero one as a base card. And I got only plus two plus two. That was awful. Absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. But I guess I'm doing this anyway. Or am I? Actually, no. Let me just play this. This. And this. Mm. So using Airthrone def defensively, not offensively. But why so many one cost units and I drew Axolotl out of deck? Damn. Welcome, Holo, in the Twitch chat. Welcome. Okay, now we have a chance to play Dracomantium. And let's hope he doesn't have a strong card to remove it. <clears throat> Holo trying to be funny in Twitch chat as always. I appreciate you, Hollow. I appreciate you. Okay, if he's going to... But he played this... Hmm. But if he uses Chain Toss, he won't be able to unroot himself. He does. Ooh, I don't think I'm playing Dracon, or am I? Actually, no. Yeah, I, I do. I want to play Draco right now. And look at this Titanic lurking in my hand. Such a powerful card. 10 cost and play effect. Attack the rightmost enemy unit, repeat if lethal. So most of the times he will just clear whole board with just this. Such a cool card. Such a cool card. So this is... Those the, those cards are nothing for him. Let me present you this this card in full effect. Oh, but okay. But I want to devour more units. But nah, he's just okay. He decided to do a lot of questionable stuff, and he realizes it himself and decides to concede. <gasps> so I couldn't showcase my Titanic. No. But a win is a win. Good game. We need seven more wins to reach a, a record rank. I, it might actually be difficult to reach this rank on today's stream. But for now, it's time for the second tip at the edge of the sky. Let's climb the mountain together, shall we? Be right back, guys. Welcome back to the edge of the sky. Second tip for today. Fight for board control. Guys, this is the most important tip that I can give you in Discovery. Always fight for board control. In Constructed, sure, there are some decks that can be defensive, don't need to fight for board control at the beginning, maybe some Axel decks, maybe some Banjo decks. But in Discovery, mm -mm. random decks don't work that well in defense. So always fight for board control, always be aggressive. And that's it. This will win you way more games. Try this tip for yourself. Let's go back to the game. Yeah, exactly, guys. Always fight for board control. I actually mentioned it plenty of times today and yesterday. This is quite quite important, especially in Discovery. So do that. Fight for board control. And let's play some more games, shall we? Okay. Hmm. All right. Wow, really quick queues? I'm actually very surprised. Amazing fast queues in the lowest level for Discovery. Amazing. I guess it's because I'm playing against Texas 92 again. Okay, let's battle. Let's battle some more. Let's disable my background music right now. Change it to the in-game in -game music and let's go. Okay. This time my my selection is much better. More units to pick from. So Discover can draw me a Colossoid, but it's too slow. And I like I said in the 
in the tip of the day, I want to fight for the board control. Let's pick those. Let me so so Rumbo will will give me Rubble Devil from the death effect. So it's quite strong. I like it. All right, let's do that. Welcome, Constantine, into Twitch chat. Good to have you here. All right. Can we win against Texas 92 from Brazil again? Let's see. Okay, so he drew out of deck a one cost saber, which is very strong one cost actually. So let's go for let's go for armored unit. Shall we? Shall we? And yeah, we're we're removing the shield. We want to kill this guy next turn with my armored unit. I hope I will draw like two cost or three cost next turn. Because I really don't want to play Griff Scout without playing the attachment. Because when it dies the attachment got lost and it's quite cool attachment for, for armored units. Alright, Tex is 92 taking his time as he should. Let's see what will he do. Ooh, he can actually clear my guy. Okay. Very nice. Very good play for, from him. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so I drew a 2 cost, just like I wanted. And I can play Amalgam with the death effect. If your hand size is odd, draw a card. This is exactly what's, what's going to be. Only 3 cards in my hand. A odd number. So the death effect will take place if it dies right now. And next turn I can play Griff Scout plus Bolster. And next turn I can play Rumbo. And next turn I can play Hugeify. Perfect curve, guys. This is what we like on this channel. Mana efficiency. This is what we like here. So again, he's able to kill my guy. Probably if he play Ble Blessed Strike and increase his banner even more. He does. All right. And also nice card Khan in Discovery. Very cool. Very powerful. And we are not worried about this as we have a armored unit. So each time he get, he plays yellow jack, I only uh, get one damage because of an uh, because armor attached to my guy. The armor trait. As you can see here left side of the card a description armor takes one damage less from everything but he has searing rage but i would not recommend the play he he does right now so yellow jack is is good as a defensive tool to remove something to remove a unit uh, from the opponent board when while in hand but now i can just kill it now i can just kill it with my hero so I would not recommend this play. Let's go for Rumbo. Ooh, next turn I can play Khan and Stonefist on my armored unit. Super powerful stuff. Super powerful stuff. A lot of armored units in my deck. Very nice. Armor is quite good against Samia. Okay, he played Imposter, removing my my um, guard. Okay, so now I drew the free cost Rubble Devil, so now Rumbo will get me a free cost out of deck. So let's just proceed with my plan. Okay. And let's do that. This way we lose one less damage. Okay, he decided to play Queen of Jacks, but 
It's I mean this card is amazing when you play it and your opponent is your opponent board is uh, empty, right? Now you can just uh, kill it. So it's just a free six sta st uh, stats for six cost. So it's not that powerful. So let me utilize the attached spell from Khan and kill the opponent's unit with the spell and my face. And we have we gained full board control and the game seems to be over and it is. Thank you for the game. Text is 92. All right. So we played five games, we won four, we lost one against Samia, against a Slovakian player, I believe. And we got Glorious Main. All right. Let's go for another. Let's see if Texan 92 wants to play some more against me. In the meantime, let's let's put on some background music. Let's see if he had enough or not. Also, shout out to the devs for for getting those nice live channels area here, so players can see if anyone is streaming on Twitch. Let's see if th it's the friendly Brazilian face again. Actually, no, it's Horik. It's Horik, it's Argent Argentinian player, Benjapas15. All right, exciting stuff, this time Horik. This time Horik. You know what? No, 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 we need to run into the arena. What am I even doing? This is how you, this is how you go into the arena. Casually, you're not stressed, you're not stressed. And now you accelerate, you go for it. You go for it, inflict fear into your opponent's head. And now we're ready to battle. Let's go. All right. Only one unit in my opening selection. I'm not happy about it. I don't like to draw cards, I want to play units. Units, units, units. Okay, so I have to play some. Okay, so Amaru's will is terrible in discovery. Play it only in constructed. Just absolutely just hope that you will not draw this card. Just, just don't. Very bad opening selection for me. Unfortunately. Gedison in Twitch chat asks, are you playing on a new account? Yes, I'm because I want to showcase on for the YouTube videos, because this is going to YouTube also. Uh, the whole journey from Wanderer to uh, the Grand River, Grand River level. So on my main account, I could show only from Apprentice level to Grand River, but I want to show all the way from the very beginning how to do this. All right, it seems like Benja Pass. Actually, no, he's going to play something. Okay, he played a three cost Vishiva. Mm, so I guess I'm going to try to counter him with my Howl Geist. Let's see if I can do that. So now he has only two mana, so he, he wasn't very. Uh, he, he just decided to play both mana crystals at once at the first turn, so mana crystals are very good to be um, flexible, but now he spent both, but he had Sigburn, so so I guess he knows what he was doing, and he removed Tiamat. All right. All right. I'm a bit, of, bit scared right now. That was a good play. Now he has to do this, exactly. Always clear the units with the hero at the beginning of the game. Now I don't have much to do, just draw cards. And I suppose do this. Very dangerous situation. I lost board control. Well, actually I didn't have it in this game yet, so... My opponent is doing very well. I My, my, my cards are not good. But I drew very good, very good card. I would say even that it was quite a nice top deck. Powerful, free free with armor, with wither, with lifesteal, with everything. Look at this. All the traits on one card. Very useful.
Hopefully he will not have any spells to remove it. That's the hope. And he doesn't. Okay, very good. Very good. And now I can buff my own unit. So Onismith is best when you can buff your own unit that has armor. Because then the stats are more valuable. And we're going to do that. Beetle to the rescue. That was actually a mistake. He attacked with one attack unit into armored units, so he didn't do anything. So mistake from the from from Benja Pass from Argentine. And we drew another good another good draw. One cause because we if we play Oni Smith without this, we will left the turn with one mana and now we can play efficiently. As we love to do that. Okay, let's do this and let's go face. Let's not harm myself and give him free uh, life steal back for no reason. If he won't be able to clear most of the board, I can buff my my units with with this card, gift of swords. Draw three units, give them plus one plus one. Give all my units plus one plus one. Very strong uh, card if you have units on the board already. All right, Benja Pass now might be might be in trouble now. He was in the driver's seat for a for a second, but now he lost he lost the lead. Okay, can remove another unit. Very good play. So now, but I guess I I will have to actually never mind. We drew Steam Knight. Now the question is, do I want to... Hmm. Because I won't lie, Mother Mander is quite a powerful card, so if I play Gift of Swords, I will draw 3 units. I have 7 units in my deck, 2 of them are fire. If I draw some fire cards also, fire units, Mother Mander will be more powerful. But I'm not sure if that's the correct way to go here. This is spending mana efficiently, but if it's is this a good good play? I'm not sure. I can clear the board and have two units and then maybe we can play Gift of Swords. Yeah, I, I'd rather play this to be honest. And let's hope this casket will not proc anything good from his from his death effect. Let's see. It's only Zomboid, so only one damage to my hero, I don't mind. Yeah, because we played Skitter, and Skitter effect is death adds Zomboid to enemy's deck. So the casket effect was diminished, as it's draw your lowest cost unit, trigger its death effect. So it was nice interaction for me that Skitter died and he played casket, so he drew a zero cost, pretty bad card, right, to draw. All right. Zomboid on the board. What else? If both of my cards survive, I'm probably gonna going to play Gift of Swords, not Mother Mander. But if one of my units dies, probably Mother Mander will be my choice. Let's see. Okay, so I guess my units will actually survive, which is very good. And let's go for this. Buff my buff my units, draw some more. I like it. Okay. Let's clear those guys. Actually, I don't really care about Zomboid. We're going face. He is out of range to play Weighted Die, the 8 cost dangerous card, so I don't mind leaving his him on the board. But he might have the five cost buffing card. Mm, I'm I'm wondering. No, let's go just four damage into the face. Let's let's go with the saying: the face is the place.
All right, he buffed some of his units with Boon of Nettles and gave them Wither. And play Phoenix Flume on <laughs> on Elderwood. Okay, okay. We don't have AoE spell though to clear all of those funny little units. Hmm. All right. So I guess it's going to be time for Mother Mander. Ooh, and I draw the last fire card, so I will get a lot of a lot of uh, fire fire manders on the board. So let's make space for them, and let's go for Mother Mander. Look at this! Look at this beauty! All right, let's just be safe. And clear those, hmm. Actually, no. You figure out how to how to deal with my units. I'm just going face for six lifesteal damage. And look at that spell. Tiama's Rage for nine mana. Very useful card also in constructed in aggressive decks. Do six damage, wither damage, to target enemy and each enem enemy next to it. Very dangerous spell. Okay, he had AoE kind of buffing and defensive spell. So I'm glad I at least cleared some of the units. Okay, shield. But look at this. As Ada, I have I, I, I have seven cards. So many. Look at this. And now eight. And after this, even nine. As Ada, this is so rare. So rare. And Ada is very dangerous with so many cards. Okay, so how much damage we can inflict with Tiamat's Rage? So 6 plus Banner, so it's 6 plus 5, it's 11, so not we cannot kill him yet. So do I want to do this play? Actually it's even one less because this will die, and this death effect will kill my one of my Firemander, so I will lose one Banner. Hmm. Hmm. The game is pretty much over anyway, but what is the best way to go for it? Let's just scare him with Tiamat and just go face. And again, you figure out what to do. Still, Tiamat's rage in the hand, with a lot of damage. I don't need units to, to, to deal damage with this, so it's so dangerous. Okay, it might be over soon against Mr. Benja Pass 15. Let's see what's the last card in his hand. I mean, Gift of... Gift of uh, not Ixath. I mean, the card that can give all the units the shield and banner would be amazing for him. But it's not, it's just friendly fun. So the game will be over this turn as we just can play Yama's Rage, clear the units around the hero and deliver the final blow with our own hero Ada. With myself, as I do look a lot like Ada today don't I all right good game mr. Benja pass let's utilize our Tiamas rage and that's it we're one game closer to the recruit rank we are halfway actually very nice very nice okay I'm thinking one more game before we return to the edge of the sky for the last tip of the day. Yeah, let's let's queue. All right. I think we have time for two more games today. So sadly, we won't be able to reach recruit. As you can see, discovery games are much longer than constructed uh, because they are much more complex. I mean, it always depends, of course. But but I, for example, my turns are way longer because I have to calculate more in discovery than in constructed. So so. 
The journey f to, to Grand Weaver might take longer in Discovery than in Constructed, but we'll see. All right. Two more games. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Okay, again, quick queue. I love it. Absolutely love it. Let's go. And let's run into the arena. Look at me. Look at me casually. Casually approaching the arena. And then the race begun. The race begun. Faster and faster. Look at this guy running. Let's go to the arena. We go. And we're playing again against Texas. Texas 92. All right. This time he's he's checking out a lot of prisms. Now he chose... Uh, he chose... Uh, Wow, I'm blanking on the name somehow. Of care, of course he, he took Zoe. Wow, what is going on with my brain lately? Let's see what we can do against Zoe with our Ada. Always remember to download your assets before you play. Then your your loading time will be much faster. But he might experiencing also some. Uh, some internet issues, some disconnections, so... I believe he, we, we... Against him we load the game pretty pretty fast. So let's hope he gain his connection secured quickly. And it seems that everything is in order. Alright, let's play the game. So that run to Arena was longer than normal. Alright, let's switch to the in-game music. Ooh, this card is so powerful. As your left or rightmost unit attacks, give it one plus one power. If it's not answered, if it not dies and it remains on the board, it can spiral really quick. Okay, this this selection this time is very strong. Only one card that is not pickable. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I love this selection. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, it's super strong. Do I want Elder Fall as, as one card removal? Because Iron Shell doesn't have that many stats and the death effect, death effect is not that important. So let's go for Elder Fall. Okay, so we battle again, Mr. Taxis92 from Brazil. Let's see. I really hope he he will not play any unit right now, so I can get my Buster Squire on the empty board. Such a dangerous card. So, will he play something or not? Yes, he did not. Let's go. Now we hope this unit sticks, okay? But he might have some removals. He didn't play anything, so... Please, little rabbit, survive. Look at this art. So cool, right? So cool. He's handing the weapon to the allies, making them more more stronger. Making them stronger. Look at this. Very pretty. Also, we have cosmetic cards that does in-game exactly the same. But you have nice foil effect with silver and gold cards. The game is so pretty, right? The art. I really like it. Actually, the art was the first thing that drawn me into the game. And he, in fact, had the removal. He paid only one cost for my two cost unit. Very good exchange for him. Alright. It's time for the for the guarded 3-3 free -free Sabletooth, as he does, uh, does have a glory effect. So let's not allow him... Let's not allow him to do so. <clears throat> so, actually, the, wait, 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 wow, this is very powerful. So he's clearing my unit, 
while buffing his own. Okay, now this is problem. So I wanted this so I can remove some units, but this is just a bit weak enough to not kill this 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 guy, this Hana. Hmm. Hmm. Not nice at all. So let's play. I, I really want to make a synergy between Jade Guardian and Mushka. So I, I really want to play, and also I can play more Anima units. Units with Anima. So let's play Rocket with Unicron for now. And maybe we can somehow defeat this unit and play Jade Guardian while he actually might survive. So if I play it now, he just kill it, kills it. I'm sorry, kills it with Hana, so there's no point. Let's try to make some synergies work this game. But that, that Downblade, such a huge swing card. Also good that we, we have our mana crystal. If this guy survives with less than 3 health, I can kill it with Elderfall. Alright, he played... He did not survive. Okay. I think we're safe, maybe. Maybe we're safe. Yes, we can even clear the board. So this death effect <clears throat> will summon Royal Mummy, but we have... We can clear it. We can clear it. Let's do this. And with a Mana Crystal, we can play Jade Guardian, exactly what we wanted. And let's do just that. Actually, that was a slight slight misplay. I should play Jade Guardian first, so my tree would also have Anima attached. Probably it doesn't matter as he will kill the tree anyway, but it's good to remember that that ordering matters. He might have a spell, for example, that deals 4 damage and he will have to kill this guy with his, his hero, so in that case the tree with Anima would survive. So, always something to consider. Alright, Tex is taking his time as he should. Alright, let's see. I really la like to for, for Jade Guardian to survive. Let's see. He plays Raise Arms, so it seems that my guy will actually survive. All right, I can play three units and attach Anima to all of them. Very nice. So Anima over Anima, constructed feel, constructed feel. Very nice. I love it. And we're going all in. Okay, no point in hitting with our hero this time, I believe. Now he can clear the Guardian with Face and Royal Mummy, but I really hope he doesn't have any any dangerous AoEs. For example, Hurricane from Agility uh, Agility Prism could clear everything besides Mushka. Mushka will have one health left, but Hero can finish the job. So let's hope Taxis does not have any useful AoE spell. Okay, he has uh, King Slay. Which killed one of my one cost, but that's okay. That's okay. Also, only two cards. That's good that I that I uh, have my Ether Mask. I can draw Oliphant and Archelot as I'm running out of cards. Slowly, but I do. And if you don't have resources, you almost always lose the game. All right. So what's the play here? I can play Ether Mask and Oliphant, I suppose. Or should I maybe go Ballistic with Popping Anima manually? Because look at this glory effect. Glory, attach Anima. So I will proc Anima and attach another Anima. So that's very dangerous. I think I actually want to do that. 
Yeah, so let's play this. Clear Kingslayer with the one cost. And let's do that. Mm. Alright, full board control. That That's what we like here. Wall of Dead, but look at the timing. We have the, the perfect card to deal with the situation. Do damage to all units. I will harm my own units a bit, but that's fine. It's fine. I want to kill my opponent as fast as possible, of course. So let's pay for mana manually again. And let's go. Only five more to win yet another game against our Brazilian friend. I hope he considers me a friend also. He played many games today. I really hope he does consider me a friend. I try my best to be friendly. I even can emote GG after the game. That's what friends do, right? GG the opponent. No, I didn't. No, wait. Yes, I hope he saw that. Okay, GG. Guys. Four games left, four, four wins left to rank up, to recruit. We got a card, Blood of Ixath. We played this once today. Summon, draw your lowest cost unit, gain its stats. Very good card in Constructed, not that good in Discovery though. Alright, it's time for the third tip of the day. Let's climb our mountain for the third and final time today. See you guys back here in a bit. Mm. That's, that's the advice. Take your time. You don't have to move quickly, okay? The timer is long enough. Discovery is very complex game mode and playing optimally is extremely difficult. So, if you found a good play this turn, take your time and maybe there's even better play. Okay, don't be afraid to take your time, even though your opponent playing super quickly. Just relax, back, and think what's the best play. That's it for today, guys. Three tips that's what I got for you play with open deck, fight for board control, take your time. And that's it. Let's go back. Ah. Yeah. That's it for the Tips from the edge of the sky, so let's play the final game of today, Discovery Edition of the Beginner's Guide. I hope you're guy, you guys enjoy yourself here. And remember, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, watch me live if you want. We can chat on, chat on the Twitch chat together. It's, it's uh, at twitch.tv slash puza2010. Feel free to, to join me at 3 p.m. Central European time. All right, and again, we quickly found the game. Let's run to the arena last one last time. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm not going to fall. I'm confident. Let's go. Let's charge to the arena with my perfect technique. Arms and legs working together. Let's go for the last game of today. All right. Again. Ooh, this time against... Jean or Jine? Jean? And he's playing Lotus. Okay, I'm a bit scared. Lotus is quite good. Okay. As I said before to John Cake, I believe, or maybe no, it, to Gellers, that I consider Wisdom uh, to be quite powerful right now in Discovery. So let's see what we can take. First of all, let me switch to in game music. And now, what should we do? We have Halcyon. With flame sword, Halcyon might 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 stick. So let's do that, and let's play Sonic Jammer. Wisdom plays a lot of spell right, spells, right? So Sonic Jammer is good. You need Sonic Jammer has effect until your next turn. All enemy spells and enchants have plus two cost. All right, let's do it. John Cakes in the Twitch chat asks, no giveaways. No, the giveaway will be, but after after this, after the YouTube. 
recording is over. We can we can give away everything, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Actually, because um, wisdom uh, wisdom has cards like hydrate. Let me play mana crystal from my hand, not hero. So I so he won't overdraw me. Let's do this. Okay, and let's hope. Let's hope that this Halcyon will stick on the board and I can play Flame Sword and get the Fury Enchant pop. I can draw an Axolotl. Ah, oh, Axolotl. I still remember how I draw it from Rodent Problem. Alright, let's see. Oh. Mmm. Unfortunately, he played a guard, so playing Flame Sword is not going to be that useful this time. And another guard! Okay! You did ma major your point, sir. Okay, so I guess I'm going to play not Sonic Jammer now, or should I? Maybe I should. He played units, maybe what's left are spells. So let's play Sonic Jammer, shall we? And go after this guy. John Cake in the chat suggested Squid first. But I'd rather play Squid when I have uh, less opponent's guards, so I can uh, proc the glory effect. And he has so many guards. Guards and guards that wisdom. Very interesting. Okay, Jain or Jean. Let's see. And look at this nice cover photo with Garuda. With the card from... Oh, and I have Garuda. Look at this. Look at this here. And Garuda in my deck. John Cake says in the in the chat, Wisdom doesn't have much poke spells. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose that's true. Right, look at this now. Nico with 7 health, but it will do nothing to my Halcyon. So let's just play Squiddy now. And let's hope we can remove this guy pretty quickly. Getum Gang is also a very strong card against Wisdom. Very annoying card. Play effect. Spend your mana again. Plus one, plus one for each mana spent. So I can play this, for example, on the 10 mana. And then it's 12, 12 attack, 12 uh, health unit. So powerful. Okay, Jean is taking advice, uh, taking my last advice from the edge of the edge of the sky. He's taking his time as he should, very very well. Okay, another glory effect. So we have now two cards that can do something after it hits the opponent's face. So Squiddy conjure a one cost enemy unit, and Mushka we we now recognize as we did. The the we did play it the last game glory attach anima. When it gets going, it's very powerful. Hard to hard to stop. <clears throat> okay, another guard is playing only guards. Look at this, only guards. Okay, so I guess that's it. Can I draw a 2 cost so I can play 3 cost and 2 cost? No, I can't. But I can remove this, kill Nico with my face, and get the glory effect going. Look at this. Let's go. Let's go. And with paying nothing, my Mushka got plus 2, plus 2. Let's hope it can get going and get going until we win.
Okay, I have solid cards. Solid cards in my hand. For for example, I can play Flame Sword and Iron Shell next turn. On seven mana, I can play Getum Gang and spend full mana again, and then play Molchunus. Everything on the curve, perfect mana expenditure. This is what I like. All right, Jine or Jin, what's your plan now? Okay, he decided to turn the tide, but he didn't. He he did it on. See when he had six mana, not five, so he didn't gain the additional three mana. So that wasn't very good, I believe. But now we don't have flame sword, but we still can do this. And also what? And also what? I don't want to overextend because Lotus does have some strong AOEs. So let me just play Gronk and Rock the Anima. Welcome Avatarox in the Twitch chat, welcome. How are you, sir? Welcome to my daily content. This time it's Discovery Mode Edition for Beginner's Guide. But tomorrow it's Conquest time. Tomorrow things are getting serious. All right, Mr. Jain. I'm not sure how I should pronounce that name, Jain or Jean. I have no idea. Okay, he's taking his time. He watched the stream. He knows the tips and tricks. He's taking his time, very good. Okay, Libra for seven mana. Good mana, good mana expenditure as, as well. But whoa, 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 whoa! But why? Okay, you just healed seven, and you decided to hit with your face a unit that has seven attack and eight health. Okay, okay, something is something fishy is going on here. What was that? And look at this powerful card. Hmm, that was very strange, very strange. Let me again, I don't really want to overextend and play everything. Let me play this, do this, and go face. We don't need to bother with this, we just want to kill Lotus as fast as possible. Against Ada, sure. Against Ada, I would kill this Libra because of the spells that uh, Strength uh, Prism has. But against Wisdom, mm -mm. we're going face. And we did manage to win. Actually, with, this game was quite, quite quick. I think we have time for one more game. So let's go. Let's go for one more game. Background music again. Let's put it on. I really like this song. It's named Skyweaver Air. Last game, people! Last game of the stream! Also, if we have some uh, Spanish people here... Mr. Echeverai started uh, streaming right now from the Spanish community. And look at this queue again, extremely fast. We can go back to the in-game music. We're done with running to the arena, I'm tired now. We run so many times to the arena today. Let's have a little break. All right. Okay, this time against Andre Kluna with City. Okay, very interesting, very interesting. Hmm, against the Blood of Ixaf, not very good in, in Discovery. Rocket also, if I don't have board control, Rocket is very hard to utilize. So I'm thinking mm, something like this. I, I'm not sure that I will have board control, so I'm not taking Aegis of Light because I need basically board control to do to use to make use of it. So let's play those cards. Those cards. Maybe I will gain board control with 
Close swipe and breacher. Maybe <laughs> we'll see, but I'm not super thrilled with the opening selection. It's not it, it wasn't the, the worst or anything like that. But it wasn't the best also. The last two games were, were very good board selections, but uh, card selections, but that was like semi good I would say. We had the worst of course today, but you know. Alright, I was hoping maybe for skipping turn and playing close swipe next turn, but he has their armored unit, close swipe doesn't do much to it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna play Iron Shell, maybe he will attack with Scooter to it and then we can kill it off with close swipe. And I'm not attacking Ikar with my hero because close swipe will do the trick. But I really need to draw a first four cost card so we can have everything on curve. So three mana play, then four mana, hopefully something from the board, then five mana, six mana, and so on. Okay. Will he use scooter or will he use hero and Ikaru? He did use scooter, which is which is pleasing. Thank you. This is exactly what we wanted, but we didn't draw four cost. We draw enormous Titanic. Which is not good in my in this situation. Titanic will be good in six turns. That is a whole lifetime. Six turns. Okay, we really need something way cheaper. Give me Beetle, please. Or Olive. Something cheaper. Please. Ooh, give me Breaker Crab to remove the armor. There is a 1 in 19 chance that I'm gonna get Breaker Crab. Please. Okay, okay, okay. I got 4 cost. I can't, I can't complain. That's good. So, I can't really attack uh, Mecha Ban with my hero. If I can play a banner card next turn, I would do it to kill it off with my hero. But I don't have it, so, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do that. So, I have six cards, but so so what? I don't have board control. I don't have any spells to remove those guys. And he plays a very good, very good card, Nessie. I'm actually very scared about this game. This game is not looking good. And he has very powerful attachments, like gear grind, like cap size. This game does not look good. And finishing the stream on a loss does not sit well with me, guys. Not at all. I will not be happy if I have to end the stream on a loss. No, no, no. This is not how we do things in my imaginary world. In my imaginary world, I'm always winning. Imagine if someone wants to see my content and just see what happens at the end of the stream and see see me lose. No, 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 not on my watch. But he's playing so well. Look at him go. I am. I am scared. So he will not wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, that was a mistake. He could just use this guy, but now. If I play any of those big units, he can just remove them for free mana only. Me no likey. Me no likey. Things are not pretty. Let's see what we can draw to deal with this guy. I mean, after he plays Capsize, I guess it's the damage is done, I suppose, because we just played five cost and he'll remove this for only three mana and still have board control. But let's see, what can we draw? I mean, no offensive, I mean, I guess it's ground pound, but I, have, I need board control to play ground pound. I guess nothing, really. So I am in real trouble in this game. 
Let's just hope that he will make more mistakes like attacking with Mechaban in the previous turn while he could just kill me with Nessie and save both units. Okay. This might be a mistake, but I cannot get into him. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if he doesn't realize how powerful this spell is. I do wonder. So let me play... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let me play those two. And just go face. I think he might not play this properly. As we saw in the previous turn. I don't know. But I see now I see some chances. Because he he misplayed a bit. He could play a way, way better way better turn. So now <clears throat> those two cards are very hmm, so is he going to play the attachment? Okay, so again he did not play the cup size. And I think he will sacrifice Nessie? Kill some of my units, let's see. Or is he going to attack my hero only? Let's see what Mr. Andre Kluna will do. Okay, so he's going face. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So can I kill Nessie somehow? This turn. I think, wait, can I? Can I, can I, can I? I don't see it. I don't see a way to kill Nessie this turn because I still have to do damage to the hero so I can kill one, two, and attack hero, but I don't have any spells. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Okay, fine. We're going here. If I cannot do this, fine. Let's attack one guy. Let's play Monstro. And I don't know, maybe he will not realize still that he has extremely powerful spell attached to his ne to his Nessie. So I played 7 cost unit and he can remove it for free mana. But he seems to not see it. Okay. Okay, Mr. Andre, Kluna, now what? Very interesting game. Very interesting game. And he finally did. So he actually tricked me. I thought that he did just doesn't recognize, but he waited for a... So I played 5 cost uh, unit, he didn't do it. I played six cost, 5 cost and 2 cost unit, he didn't do it. And then when I played the most expensive unit yet, now he did it. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Well done, mister. Well done, mister. Okay, let's play the biggest guard that I have because of the sunset effect. Let's see. If he can remove this guard with some kind of a spell, he can just do 8 damage from the board. I might be lost here, let's see. What a prayer, Andre, Andre Kluna, in the, in the Wanderer rank. He'll be, he will be good in this game, for sure. Well done, sir. But it's not over until it's over. Let's see what he is going to do. Ooh, I don't know about this one. You also injured yourself. My opinion of you is dropping, sir. Sir, I don't know about that. And you healed me back? Can I actually come back from the dead? 
And the Titanic actually will be useful. Look at this. I'm coming back from the dead. Titanic finally had his moment. I draw this card, I believe, on the fourth turn or something. And look at this. Now it's my turn. We're making a comeback in this game. Let's go. Let's freaking go. We're not finishing the game on the loss. No way. Not here. Not me. My ego. My ego needs to survive. All right. And the play effect from Frenzy didn't took place as he didn't play seven one one drops one cost cards we are in the in control in the driving driver's seat let's go let's go look at this two beasts on the board playing quickly showing who's boss now what mr andre Kluna? now what i try to intimidate him from my fast play bam 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 Engine Blade, destroyed by Demon Pact. And two awesome beasts on the board. Now what will you do, sir? This is clearly not enough. I have so much damage on the board. I have lethal on board. Can we actually win this game? Can we come back from the dead for the final game of the stream? We can. Thank you very much, Andre Kluna. That was a pleasure. Very tough opponent. Thank you, sir. Good game. All right, guys. What the lo I love it. I'm super happy I decided to play one more game. Such an exciting game. We got we unlocked new base card. It's, uh, it's Shogun from Strength Prism. Inspire Guard gain plus one plus one. All right, all right, all right. So, guys, let's go back. To studio for the parting words because it's some it's so comfy down there so comfy guys thank you so much for joining me today on the stream or in the youtube video if you're watching there i am so thrilled to have you all here to make content for, for you so today was a beginner's guide for uh, discovery mode yesterday we did beginner's guide for uh, for constructed mode but tomorrow no more beginner stuff it's conquest mode the most difficult mode of all in the skyver game i'm super excited to play competitively because it's so hard down there okay but you'll see for yourself tomorrow so guys thank you so much for coming see you guys tomorrow 3 p.m central european time see you guys there bye bye